Hello there, my name's Ashley Shaw and this is my very first vlog of the year 2016 and this is straight away I'm going to be into a rant which is just, I'm sorry there's going to be swearing because I'm pissed off, I am pissed off to the max with absolute imbeciles, total imbecile, uneducated fools who think that they know Islam better than Muslims. So to start straight away, this is aimed at you, this is aimed at you because your twisted ideology of Islam is exactly the same as those of ISIS and every other terrorist organisation which claims to speak for Islam and Muslims. They don't. They have twisted and taken words from the Quran, taken them out of context, and you say, you have the cheek to say that those people practice the real Islam and the other 1.7 billion people in the world that practice the real, true, peaceful Islam they aren't practicing Islam properly. How stupid can you be? How bloody stupid can you be to think that 35,000 people practice real Islam and the 1.7 billion Muslims around the world, they don't? Get a grip, people, will you, please? First of all, what, what, what they do, the first thing that they do is they take, they cherry pick things out of the, um, out of the Quran and then they use that as an example of how um, Islam is about hatred and violence. Well, you can find in any religious book, you can find smite thine enemies. It says it everywhere. You cannot take little bits of, of, of a holy book and say that that is all that it's based on because it quite clearly isn't. These people, those of you out there that are busy telling me that you have read the Quran and that you know better than the Muslims that are actually commenting on the same posts. How bloody dare you? How stupid do you have to be? I mean, you don't have to be a Muslim to know that 1.7 billion Muslims aren't terrorists. You just have to use your brain. So why don't you start to, eh? Why don't you start to use your brain? Because you have become the terrorists. You have become the haters. Because on uh, you can see it on this, I'm sure, that the minute that this goes out, I'll have a load of haters will come and comment on this very vlog. Go and have a look for yourselves. You can see the difference between how Muslims feel and how Islamophobes feel. Islamophobes, you are basing all, everything that you say and do on absolute lies. And what have you been doing? Well, the rise in Islamophobia has meant a rise in attacks on innocent Muslim people. That makes you the terrorist. That makes you the hater. You cannot talk about hating, about Islam hate, when you're the ones that are actually showing it. The amount of people, fascists, fascists, let me tell you British fatty, fascists rather, British fat, I can't even speak, I'm that annoyed. British fascists. Britain never was fascist. The, the Britain you're calling for back never bloody existed. We've never been fascist. Never. And every time I ask, come on then, tell me, how are you reclaiming the country back? How are you reclaiming the country back from Islam? And they say, they want Sharia law. Well, let me tell you this. Good Muslims practice Sharia law every single day of their lives. Every single day of their lives they practice Islam. They practice Sharia law. The Sharia law you're talking about is not practiced around the world because just like Christianity, there are different sects of Islam and different interpretations of Islam. And the majority of them do not believe what you're saying. The other thing they say, you go to an Islamic country and you'll get raped. No, I won't. And you know why? Because there are bloody millions of non-Muslims working and living in non in non-Christian countries, in Islamic countries. Plenty of them. They're not being murdered or raped. I mean, th you say to me, th you know the people that actually do wish harm on me? You! You do! You wish rape, death, torture on me? That makes you, that makes you the hater, that makes you the terrorist. Also, there's been a massive rise in attacks on Muslim people, innocent Muslim people, since November and the Paris attacks. Since then, it's tripled. The, the attacks on British Muslims have tripled. Just before the attack in Paris, there was just over 100 reported attacks on Muslims in Britain in the last year. And it shot up to well over 500. What the bloody hell is the matter with you people? You cannot attack innocent people and think that that's right. It isn't. 
You have become the terrorist. You. Attacking Muslim women for wearing a hijab. It's a, it's a headscarf. It's just a headscarf. And let's face it, not all Muslim men have beards. Not all Muslim women wear a hijab. What are you going to do? Have them stick a red crescent on themselves so you can identify them? Haven't I heard that somewhere before? That's exactly what happened to the Jews. That's exactly what happened to the Jews. It wasn't acceptable for them and it certainly isn't acceptable now. That is not, that is not acceptable in any way, shape or form. And it, Islamophobia is no better than anti-Semitism. Anti Anti-Semitism is wrong. Islamophobia is wrong. You cannot, you cannot blame 1.7 billion people for the actions of terrorists. Terrorist actions they may be, but they certainly aren't Islamic. And around the world, I mean, around the world, it's just gone completely crazy. It's gone completely crazy. We've even got a, somebody who wants to be president of the United States saying that he wants to stop Muslims from coming into the country until they find out what's going on. Well, I'll tell you what's going on. What's going on is that American people think they're having a holy war. You're not having a holy war. And in fact, Americans are under more threat from one, their own police force if they're black, and two, white Christian mass murderers. They're the ones you want to be afraid of in America. They. There are hardly anybody in America, or in fact anywhere in the world, that's actually been killed by Islamic terrorism. But what you're doing their job for them. You are doing their job for them. Well done, you. Well done. Bravo. You are doing their job for them by perpetuating their lie. Their lie. There are billions of people around the world that practice the peaceful, that pra practice peaceful Islam. You, especially the ones that are claiming to speak for Christianity, you want to remember and have a look at that Bible and see what Christianity is. Because I've actually had people say to me, Jesus would stop them. No, he wouldn't, because Jesus had love in his heart. And I'm sorry, but there's an awful lot of Christians around this world that need to remember that. They need to remember that. And if you want to know about Islam, find out for yourself. Why are you listening to some buffoon who wants to be, who wants to be a president of a whole country? You're listening to that buffoon. What the hell does he know about Islam? What does the mainstream media know about Islam? They don't. I suggest you take yourself to a mosque. Go and visit a mosque because they're really lovely. Oh, and by the way, stop sending them bacon. It's not kryptonite to Muslims. They just don't eat it. And in fact, if they're starving, they're allowed to eat it. They're not going to melt if they touch it. Instead of putting bacon out, why don't you give that to the homeless? Because they're the ones that really need it. Feed them. Feed them. So, I'm, you know, the fact that... The fact that... People really, honestly, how can you believe, how can you believe that you know better than 1.7 billion Muslims? If you really want to know what Muslims think, j just have a look on the comments on this thread, because there's going to be lots of them. You'll be able to tell the difference between what Muslims really believe and what Islamophobes and fascists say they believe. It's simple. If you want to know about Islam, find out for yourself, because that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been doing. I didn't know anything about Islam. So I decided to find out for myself. And it's absolutely nothing like the, the Islamophobes are saying. Why on earth are you worried about um, a woman pushing her buggy down the street? Why are you worried about a man just because he's got a beard? Have you seen half of Britain? Half of Britain have got beards. You know, are we gonna are we gonna start profiling them? No, we aren't. So let's get things into our heads here, people. Islamophobia. Islamophobia is not acceptable. It is not acceptable. Anybody who thinks that they know Islam better than Muslims, <laughs> that is just arrogance beyond words. Arrogance beyond words. And in fact, the majority of attacks going on around the world at the moment are actually by non-Muslims against Muslims. In fact, ISIS themselves have killed more Muslim people than any white non-Muslim, any white non-Muslim. So enough is enough, people. Enough is enough. I mean, you are shaming your countries by talking this way. 
You do not know what Islam is if you're just listening to the mainstream media, listening to that absolute buffoon in America. Why would you do that? Look at what the, look at the comments on this very on this very thread. Look at those comments. It, you you know you'll be able to see for yourselves exactly what Muslims believe and exactly what Islamophobes and fascists think Islam is, and it's a completely different thing. So the only way to combat this is to everybody to stand up and say enough is enough. It, otherwise, like I said, you're going to be we're going to be sing. I, I can't. I'm sorry. I just can't bear any more of it. You can call me what you like. I don't give a shit. Call me what you like. You can threaten me with rape, torture. I don't care. That's all. That's all to me. But what you're actually doing is attacking real innocent people. Innocent people. You have become the terrorists. You.